Do not worry. How's it going, folks? Brand new episode. Do not worry, I'm your host, Anthony. Coming to you from the uh, heart of the 09 Bazoom K. How's it going, everybody? Uh, have a shot, grab a drink. Uh, I'm by myself tonight. The interns aren't here. Elijah uh, had a lot to do at, with work. Uh, and uh, Noor, le- Noor just doesn't want to come all the way here, folks. All right, we've, she's got her own driver. She's got her own personal driver. I, I got this whole new set ready. I got them snacks. I got everything ready for the interns, folks, to make the transition from Beirut to here as smooth and seamless as possible. But here I am hosting an episode all by myself. At 11 o'clock, drinking. My father is a leftover McKellen. Anyways, how are you guys doing? Uh, before we get going into any of the topics, please take a second to like the video, leave a comment. Your engagement, hashtag engagement. is super helpful for a small channel like ours. Leave a comment in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, become a Do Not Warrior. We would very much appreciate that. Uh, speaking of things that we appreciate, our patrons. Patrons, we love you. Uh, particularly, we have some brand new patrons this week, folks. Let us take a second to welcome them to the family. Our brand new blonde patron, Omar Musalli. Omar, thank you so much for joining us. We love you. Uh, and a brand new abductee patron, Shams Khalid. Shams, thank you. We love you. And we also have a brand new superhero patron, Jad Al Hajj. Not to be confused with another Jad Al Hajj, but Jad Al Hajj, thank you. Uh, welcome to the superhero. A patron family and as always got to thank our god tier patrons every single week jessica and melting around and muhammad zayn you guys are supporting this channel on another level thank you so much i actually bought a new camera as you guys know the intern's camera got destroyed uh not long ago look at that we got a photo we got a brand new camera it's the canon m50 mark ii in white it's the same camera that i have that i've been using for for the past year now for the for uh, for you know my side of the show we got the same one for the interns. That way we got some consistency. We can use like the same camera settings, etc. Except it's in a sexy white color. Looks nice. I'm excited to get it. Uh, honestly, could not have done that without Patreon. So thank you guys so much. I love you guys. You guys support the show in so many ways. You help me pay the interns, uh, get new gear. So thank you so much. And let me just say thank you to a few of our other patrons like Karim Hubbard, Yusuf Salah, Danya Hawat, uh, Queen Ezzo and her Excalibur. Uh, Mo K, uh, who else we got? Some beautiful uh, superhero patrons like Joey Dabul, 69 Monkeys, Elita Wheel, Mo Kabara, Ahmad and Lamia, Ziad Ashar. Thank you guys so much. Please consider joining our, our Patreon to support us, vlogs, all sorts of things. You know, we love our patrons. There is actually, we just dropped an exclusive Joseph Mirab vlog from the day we went to meet Joseph Mirab to pitch uh, the documentary. It is up on Patreon right now, it is, it is exclusive to Patreon. Uh, it's never going to be released on YouTube. You know, you might see some of that footage. Some of that footage might make its way into the documentary. Best to know. Uh, check it out. It's actually, it's a lot of fun. And you would be helping us, uh, you know, you'd be helping us support the uh, documentary, the Joseph Menard documentary financially. Anyways, there's a lot to talk about today, folks. My parents were at a mall. My parents live in the States now. They were at a mall and there was a shooting. My parents, there was a panic pandemonium at the mall we're gonna we're gonna look at some footage from what happened i'm gonna talk through the story of what happened with my family it's crazy we're gonna look at nareg you guys remember nareg our good friend the barber he's got a new gimmick going on on tiktok he's switched it up he's no longer a barber he's doing a whole new thing and we're gonna look at explorer nico he's this guy this food tiktoker who's like extremely annoying extremely douchey we're gonna react to some of that stuff and we got some more of our friends some random tiktoks that we're gonna look at so uh you know we'll get to it uh, one actually one quick comment someone in the comments last week asked what happened to the to the bag of chips to the fox well folks the fox is still here we actually found a bag of flaming hot uh snackers as you guys know like flaming hot he's even gayer than the regular bag of chips this guy's a flamer so we love him i'm not i don't mean that offensively but we got a flaming hot bag of, sm- of uh, smack snackers we got two other bags over there of the regular variety the regular cheese one, but yeah, no, our gay flame and friend is gonna be with us forever. He might not always be on set just because like these bags look kind of ugly. I'm not gonna lie, but somehow here you go. Just because you asked about him, he's here, gay and flaming, you know, pri- proud as ever. Uh, and obviously, here's beautiful Giancarlo Esposito. So to whoever was asking, 
the gay fox is still with us. Speaking of comments, I just got a very annoying YouTube comment that I just want to talk about. Here it is. It's like, man, stop being a cheap steak and buy a new camera. Invest in your podcast. It's not the first time you act like this. Like, what the fuck, you bastard, man? What the, what do you mean? Did, stop being a cheap skate. I bought a new camera, god damn it. I bought it. All right, I don't need your help. I mean, sure, Patreon helps, but, like, I would have bought it either way, man. We need a camera. But, like, God damn it, you people, man, don't appreciate nothing sometimes. Sometimes I hate my audience. Is that is that wrong to say? Like, why are you even watching, dude? Just stop watching if you hate me so much. God damn it, man. Also, just a quick heads up. Number 69 of the podcast, we're episode 66. Episode 69 is going to be the Do Not Worry Awards, volume two, folks. So uh, start thinking about some of your nominees. Start throwing in some suggestions. We're going to find a way to make you guys vote, either on Instagram or something. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing, uh, you know, volume one a year ago. It's already been a year almost. Can you guys believe that? So we're going to be doing number two. And this time it should be more fun with the interns if they show up. I'm not mad that they're not here. It's fine, you know? It's fun shooting these alone. I ain't mad at all, yo. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm, I'm, I'm not in a great mood today, okay? Had a pretty tough day, very tough week. Also, pro tip, before you ask a woman a question, make sure you're ready for the answer she's gonna give you. God damn, oh, deliciously smooth. You guys remember our good friend from Razor Cut, Elio Ilay? Uh, look, I just fascinated with this fucking guy. Talked about him last week. Uh, here's another video. This is what's weird is that kids look up to these people. You know, kids look up to this guy. And, you know, here's a funny example. Or kind of a sad example. What the fuck, bro? Start it over. Bro, I love that there's a guy literally like Ed Mayo, what like he's getting he's like completely, you know, shit sure, like all right, cool, whatever man. Whatever floats your boat. Legs <laughs> <laughs> when he says legzo and azdo legzo tanil, yani like dawa, man befam. Hey, what's up with veneers? Everybody on TikTok got veneers. Look at the fucking teeth, the veneers. And like, you know, it's fucked up that kids like visual ulaid will be samu. Ana bedi ul, ana bedi ul bellello. Tala hon, legzo. Miha ya? Ayr ba shagli. So we got another little kid. I can't believe a dish is bill our social media. Okay. Neck tattoos, it's weird. Neck tattoos can look very nice on certain people, but on certain people, it could be the most wuzz thing ever. On this guy, the neck tattoo, the essence of of wuzz was it, it's, it's right there in his neck tattoo. You know, someone else could have the same neck tattoo, it could look. Fucking brilliant on them, but Ali, precisely, it has that like, mwah, effect. <laughs> 
برو ما بعرف if my child like spent all day عم بيقول بالليلو وبقوسية بقوسية منيحة يا بشب كف بشب كف كفين عنيع not this kid no ما حد no one come after me bro بس إنه this is why kids shouldn't have access to TikTok bro هيك بيصير فيهم ماما ماما بدي روح عند بالليلو بقوسية سألنا نحن إذا عملنا فولو على تيك توك وعلى انستغرام طلع عملنا فولو تيك توك وانستغرام قلت له شو الكادو اللي بدك اياه شو طلبت على صوت عالي سبايدر مان بس قلت له بس خلص قصتك حيوصل سبايدر مان قلت له ما بتجيب لي سبايدر مان هي انا منا صديقنا انا ايليو انا مش هيداك اللي هون يتصور يعني انا كلمتي كلمه جيبوا عم بلطش هير زون انا مش تبع بيروت اي ثينك هيز توكينج ابوت هير زون هير زون ال بي يعني حبيبي بتشرب شيء؟ That's our other friend. Dad, I'm sorry, I'm finishing your McAllen. You shouldn't have left. Yeah, no, you shouldn't have left it here. Anyways, I'm gonna let these shots fired with the Spider-Man toy, Jay, apparently. We're Spider-Man, y'all. And this is Spider-Man. Kado, from who? From who? Come on, come on. Now, after a few minutes, we'll see Spider-Man and Superman. Bro, Spider-Man and Superman and Batman. Tell them one thing. Legzo, Legzo, bro, why is he doing like Legzo Tanil jokes in front of in front of kids? Well, it, it's not a Spider Man, bro. This Spider Man, my, my Superman, or Batman, you know, this is a bullshit gift. Papa, I'm bilatish. We're not just our friends in Beirut. I think I'm talking about Hair Zone. If you guys don't know, let me just refresh your memory. Mean Hair Zone. I mean, today we have Joseph. اشهر من يشهر على التيك توك الشادة حبيب القلب شرفت بس على هيزا ميرسي حبيبي ما نظبط له قصته اليوم نازعين له اياها ما بيعرفوا يقصوا خليكم معنا للاخر يعني هيدي الافتر وهيدي فيد وهيدي قصه ولايك ودعن ولايك وهيدا شغل ارسوان ثانك يو والفيد بس من عند لايك ولايك 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 وشاميلا لايك وشاميلا للفيد تكرموا صار فيني اقول لك نعيما وشرفت بسالو هيزون شو بدنا نقول لهم؟ حبيبي بتشرب بس من عنا تكرم وهذا التظبيط اجيت وذ ذا فيديرز كاد اوكي وات ايلس وي جات؟ اه اي نيد سم واتر فولكس اكسكيوز بي اه طيب let me stop wasting everybody's time let me talk about my parents folks getting uh, caught up in a in a mass shooting In a mall, in America, folks, my parents left this country, Lebanon, a war-torn, violent country where, where uh, things blow up and people die. My parents left and went to America, a safe country, a safe place with, with human, with dignity. And uh, so yesterday I'm chilling, I'm watching TV, I get a video call from my dad, I pick up and my dad's like running around a mall, I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, dad, what's up? He's like, there's a shooting, there's a shooting, like they're, they're evacuating the mall and whatever, I'm like, holy shit, it's happening, you know what I mean? Like you watch this stuff on TV all the time and all these shootings in the States, I'm like, my parents are at a mall and there's a shooting, I'm like, fuck, I'm like, all right, I'm like, where's, where, where's my mom and sister, like, where are they? He's like, they're in another store, I think they're, they're like, they got locked down in there, I'm like, okay, why are you calling me? Call them, you know, like, check up on my mom and sister, so he hangs up. Uh, I, I presume he calls my mom and sister. I freak out and let me so then I start messaging my family. I start like right away here. Let me show you guys the WhatsApp conversation. We're gonna go through, we're gonna walk through the whole thing and I'm gonna let you guys know what happened. So right away I'm like, shoo, everyone's safe. And as you can see, there's a monkeypox. Your risk of monkeypox right above that that my dad had sent a few days ago. What is it with dads and WhatsApp groups and like just sending monkeypox stuff? So I'm like, shoo, everyone's safe. My sister, she's like, we're hiding. I saw people running and they closed the store and we're hiding in the back of the store inside inventory. Crazy shit, man. My, my family, my mom and my sister are hiding. I'm like, take photos right away, folks. I'm a dedicated host. I'm a dedicated podcast host. I put this show first. Even when my parents are about to get gunned down and murdered by a mass shooter, I'm asking for pictures so that I have something to show you guys, my viewers. It, How great of a host am I? Maybe not a good son or a family member, but definitely a great fucking podcast host. Take photos. Do they know if it's a shooting? My sister, my sister, like she misspells the word, but like she's like, they're, they're saying there's an active shooter, but they're not sure. Someone ran and said that. So as you guys can imagine, like there's fucking pandemonium at the mall. People are running around. There's a shooter. Everyone's running around and shit, panicking. My dad's running. I'm like, be safe and quiet. Very useful advice, Anthony. Wow, be safe and quiet. Well, this is why, you know, this is why I'm on this earth to, to, to give this helpful kind of advice in moments of panic. I'm like, are there a lot of people with you? My dad's like, I'm out in the parking. My sister's like, please be safe, pup. Hide somewhere. Are there people around you? I'm, I'm telling my dad, go hide, man. 
My sister says, do you have information? So at that point, my family doesn't fucking know what's up. Then here, my sister and my mom send a photo. Look at my mama and my sister. All chill inside, hiding. Like, weirdly enough, my mom told me what's funny is that, like, all the, she's like, all the other people, like, the white people around them were, like, freaking the fuck out. And my, my mom and sister were actually, like, very chill. We're Lebanese, man. We're used to way fucking worse. My mom lived through the Civil War. So, like, it's very casual for them. I don't know. At that point, I'm like, all right, let me try to find out what's going on. I take to Twitter right away. I try to figure out what's going on. I put out a tweet. My parents and sister are in a mall in the States, and they think there's an active shooter. Mom and sis hiding in a store that, that's locked down, and my dad is in a parking lot. They're in Tyson's Corner Mall, Virginia. God bless America. So this guy, Jonathan Trent, I find him. He's like, he's, he's also at the mall. I find that like uh, the word Tyson's is like trending. He's like, I'm at the Tyson's Corner Mall shooting at Nordstrom's lockdown. I'll send out info. And here on Aisha, Khalas fully. I'm like, my family's there. What's the status? Stay safe with praying hands. Now who he replies, no movement in the main part of the mall. Someone replies to my fucking tweet. She's like, oh my God, I have a friend that just got evacuated out of the mall. I hope your family's safe. So anyways, I let my family know. I'm like, look, according to this fucking dude on Twitter, looks like there's a shooting at a Nordstrom. My dad, I t this is really funny, man. I tell my dad to send a video. I'm like, send me a video. Like, what's going on? My dad at that point is out of the parking lot. Here's what my dad sends. Here's the video, folks. All right, you guys want to see the panic at the mall? Here's what my dad sends. Just a bunch of feet. Look at people's legs. Look at this video. The stroller, someone else's legs. You don't literally see anyone's face in this video. How am I supposed to make a show out of this? You're supposed to help me, man. Look at what my dad sent me, man. That's the footage he sent me. So I found some stuff on YouTube. Hello, it's low quality. But you'll see the people running in slow motion, dude. Check this out. Dude, it's like some coastal real. flats. I used to eat there, man. I've been... I, I go to this mall a lot. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? But look at these people, man. Look at the panic. The guy's carrying his kid. Dude, look at this shit. Oh my god, man. Look at the fear in their fucking eyes, man. This is that's the problem with the states now, man. People are so on edge and you never know when there's gonna be a fucking mass shooting that like the fucking they hear like a pop. Everyone fucking runs for the hills, man. Look at the panic. So here, like, my parents are still inside the mall. We're still not sure what the fuck is happening. According to Twitter, there's a shooting in a Nordstrom. So we get on a video family call. Here's a picture. Here's my mom. Here's my dad. Here's me. I'm going to show you guys some of that footage. I, I screen recorded our video call, but only my audio was recorded. You can't hear their audio for some reason. You can only hear my audio. So I'm going to walk you guys through what happened. My mom's in the top left corner. The corner will be banging, the latest top right things. corner is my dad's camera. He's filming the mall. He's walking around. My my mom and sister were stuck inside of a of a, of a store. Now here you see my sister talking to like a clerk and the, the store clerk is like, what's happening? Hi. And she's watching my dad's screen and I'm having to say hi to her. She's Thank watching you. my dad's Thank screen you. to see like if the mall is safe and shit. So super awkward, and I'm like sitting there having to say hi to her. Like you see my sister, my mom. Now my dad's walking past cops right here. He's like, is it safe? Is it safe? Are we safe? And they're like, yeah, you're safe. It's fine, sir. It's all over. You can see my dad is like, whatever. And yes, I speak French with my family. He sees more cops. Again, the same thing. He's like, are you safe? Are we okay? Uh... My dad, uh, he likes. Yeah, my dad loves cops, man. American cops. My dad is such like a not a bootlicker, but like you know, definitely he'd be a Blue Lives Matter kind of guy. So he sees more cops, and he goes, he stands by the police, just uh, chills there. Anyways, no, he even sent me a picture. Then he, after that horrible video he sent, he sends me this picture of a cop. Again, I don't know, man. My dad's like thirst trapping for this fucking for this fucking police officer. So what happened? What really happened, folks? Was there a mass shooting? Was there just a shooting at Nordstrom? Well, here's according to the Washington Post, folks. According to the Washington Post, falling light fixture mistaken for gunfire sparks panic at Tyson's. Police say. So here's what happened. Apparently there was police like investigating like a possible theft at a Nordstrom and then a light fell and people heard a loud bang and everyone just fucking started running for their lives. Let's read a little bit of that article. Stores closed and shoppers fled from Tyson's Corner Center Mall Sunday afternoon after police said the crash of a falling light fixture while officers were investigating a possible theft was mistaken for gunshots. 
No evidence of gunfire or injuries was found, police said, but the incident was enough to spark panic at the sprawling shopping center. Just over a month after shots were fired in the mall during a fight in June. Yeah, that is true. Like a month ago, there was like a shooting there, which is weird. Tyson's is like this. It's in a very nice, calm area, safe area. But then again, that's where all these fucking crazy shootings happen. So my family's safe, folks. My mom is fine. My sister's fine. My dad is fine. There wasn't a shooting. And I panicked. I got on Instagram. I was like, there's a fucking shooting at the mall. My parents are there. People were sending me messages and stuff. They're safe. They're fine. They got to get the premium, like, USA experience. You know what I mean? It doesn't get more American than that, having to hide in the back of an inventory room while you think an active shooter is running around like thank the lord that they're safe you know what i mean or else like they're gonna have to arm themselves you gotta you gotta go into fucking tyson's mall armed and ready to go god damn it all right gotta shoot some perpetrators katrexa man you guys you guys you know we've been talking about katrexa and samari and all that last week during the podcast anu brought up an interesting point that katrexa looked a lot like jad hadid you know what i mean like they do have it and we decided to like dig a little bit deeper into that. So here's a photo. Here's a side by side of Katrexa and Jad Hadid. They do look like each other, definitely. Here is Katrexa as a guy. Gotta say, kind of looks like Jad Hadid as a guy. You know what I mean? She's got the, those Jad Hadid bones. And when you transform Jad Hadid into a woman, mm, doesn't look as much as like Katrexa. But definitely, when you turn her into a woman, like I was just, I've been staring at them for so long. Like, they've just kind of both merged into one. You know what I mean? Could they be the same person? I don't know. Anyways, moving on to something lighter. You guys remember our good our good friend, Nareg Naregoski from Mai Tai. I think he sold Mai Tai. I don't think he works there anymore, guys. He's not working as a barber. But he, he's dating someone, and he started a new... You know, I, I love my TikTok gimmicks. I love tracking people's gimmicks. What are people doing to stand out on TikTok, and what are they doing to get a following? He's got a new gimmick with his girlfriend. They call themselves Ahla Kapil Bi Lebnan and they review stuff. Let's watch, let's see. They literally, him and his girlfriend, and they eat shit and they review it. You guys, I'm not a rag. Okay. First of all, do you guys agree? Are they Ahla Kapil Bi Lebnan? And I'm going to give you guys some background on that, a little fun fact. He was very particular about which angles we filmed him from. He did not like to be filmed from the sides, only from the front. So. If you're if you're only handsome from the front, you gotta rethink that, my guy. Oh, they're reviewing some drinks. Yalla. Two two and a half minutes. Oh, hi guys, I'm Narek. I'm Narek. I'm Sorry, the veneer is very strong with them. They both got them veneers, baby. TikTok and veneers. By the way, only nothing but love, Nareg. My boy, man. مثل الكراش ما يجي شرب صراحة أول مرة بحب مشروب عقريب أول مرة بس من شركة الكراش من شركة إذا لاحظتوا مرتين عم بشرب أول مرة أو أنا كتير عطشان أو كتير طيب They're doing the damage thing Strawberry كراش Strawberry I know this is ما بتلاقيه هو الأساس بس بكاندي مون I know this is lame بس إنه I kind of want to I'm curious to see يا ويل يا ويلي ما اطيابو كثير 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 طيب كثير طيب شباب انا بنصحكم تجربوا الكراش كثير طيبين وبتلاقوا بس بكندي مون ما في غير محل اذا حدا عنده غير محل انا بشارته ما بتلاقي هيدا طيب كثير مسقعك كثير كثير وبس كثير طيب هيك وهيدا طيب هلا الاورنج The way he says orange is fucking hilarious كرمه شفت الحركات عم بعمل كرمالك عم تشوفي اورنج اورنج او اي لاف ذس لا 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 نمبر 1 نمبر 1 شركة الكراش نمبر 1 صراحة أنا حبيتهم كلهم شباب وبنصحكم تجربوا صراحة بنصحكم تجربوا هيك ما عم صدق صراحة دافعين لك شركة كراش يعني حاسس شو عندنا كمان أحلى كابل بلبنان شو عاملين لنا ريفيو هاي جايز أنا نريك وأنا إنجلز نحن أحلى كابل بلبنان بلبنان يعني بكل لبنان طلبتوا منا كثير نجي عند التايجرز محل فادي خطيب أه... <تصفيق> 
So, we had telephone to us. So, we had a cordon bleu, we had a cordon bleu, we had a tiger. We had a cordon bleu, 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 we had a cordon bleu,
العالم عم كان عم تتمنيك عليه، فاجأني الفيديو فاجأني فاجأني وهيدا يقول له فاجأني يعني فليت مفاجأ اكيد اتسترا بانش اوف كومنتس خلص هي امبريس ذا فاجأني اند هي بيكيم ذا مونستر وي نو توداي مش ما بعرف شو هذا المحل كثير معروف فتح بجلة ديب هالجمعة فاجأني صراحة بيعمل هيدي البون اللي معروف فيها تشيكن مقلي بغطسها بالباربيكيو صوص بزيد لصوصات خس تشيبس كثير معروف فيها صراحه كل العالم بتطلبها حبيتها كثير فاجاتني قد ما طيبه جريت بكفي ليتس جست واتش اي ثينك ذس از ون اوف هيز ليتست تيك توكس هون صار يعني ماكسيموم كيميخ سائل اي دونت ايفن نو وات ذا فاك ذس از اني مور لايك هي دازنت ايفن ساوند لايك هيم سيلف هي ترانسفورمد انتو ا هيز كرنج بس هيز نوت ذا جود كايند اوف كرنج في جود كرنج ذات وي لايك اون ذا شو ذس از ذا لايك نو غارليك نو اونيون كايند اوف كرنج لايك بليز ستوب دوينغ ذس مش ما شوفوا لي هيدا الكونسيبت الجديد صراحه محل برجر بس كانك بالفضاء هو كانك بالفضاء لايك هو هو ذا فاك توكس لايك ذات ماي جاي شو هيدا شو هيدا التيم تبعه كله ايليينز وهيك فاجئني هالثيم حسيت حالي بالفضاء فاجئني هالثيم حسيت حالي بالفضاء ام سوري ام اي دونت لايك فايلنس جايز بس في عالم هيك خرج كف يو نو وات اي مين وين كمان هيك كله ديكوريشن ايليينز وهون حسيت حالي بشي كلوب عم برقص غريب هالمحل وهون كمان بيستقبلوا ايليينز بالحمام فاجئوني وهيدي اليوفو فاجئتني من فوق بلشنا بالابيتايزرز مهضومين وهون قال لي ها اسمها كوزميك صوص فاجئني اسمها وهيدي برجر حمراء التشيكن وهون طابع لي ايليين غريب هالمحل كثير مهضوم الكونسيبت ها برجر لونه ازرق اول مره بشوف برجر زرقاء غريب شكله بس طيب اللحمه عنده مخيفه صراحه الكواليتي عنده رائعه ما بيمزح فيها وهيدي الترفل الجيده واتس ذس جاي غانا دو ان لايك ا يير لايك وات وات هابنز وين ذا فيجاني ازنت انف اني مور يو نو وات اي مين وين سينج فيجاني از جست نو لونجر ا موفيجا وات دو يو دو ذس جاي از فاكينج ستاك اي دونت ساوند لايك ان اسول بس ميبي هي داز ات بيكوز هي هاز لايك زيرو كاريزما اند زيرو بيرسوناليتي سو هي هاز تو لايك فاكينج ترانسفورم انتو ذس لايك هلو الفضاء ذا جاي از بروبلي ا نايس جاي اوكي نيكولا ابو شديد هيز ذا فاوندر اوف لبنيز اكسبلورز اند ام شور ذس از هيلب هيز اكسبلورينج بزنس بس جست يو نو اي دونت وونت تو سي ذات شيت كم اب اون on my social media anyways look before we go let's just look at this new character that i discovered like just a couple of days ago randomly on my for you page on tiktok is my tiktok is cursed carlo bahadurian not known at all he's got like less than 700 tiktok followers let's, let's just check this one out this this is the video that came up for me and i was just like all right this guy seems like my type of character Love that camel toe, by the way, bro. Insane camel toe. Hone is giving us some more beach advice. I can barely hear you, buddy, but I can zip it to the audio. ليكو هون نحن بالبارادايس حلو البحر مش ما بس في شو في في شوي كانت زبالة أول ما فتنا بس يلا معلي أرخص شيء يعني عم نسترخص هالأيام بس شو بدنا نعمل من القلة والهيدا نحن بالبارادايس كتير حلو يعني هون إذا بتفوتوا كله في رمل وفي بحس كمان حتى من هون ليكو بحر نظيف ما بوش شيء يعني Anna, this is like ASMR for me. This, this, the, hearing him talk and describe this beach brings me, soothes me, especially after Explorer Nico about the fejane, fitna, fada, and aliens. Uh, this guy right here, Carlo, just being real, just being himself. I appreciate it. Man, I don't know. And there's no, we didn't enter the entrance. I mean, there's no entrance. But you can buy a long chairs if you want. And that's it. And that's it. Nico, how beautiful the beach is here. بحر على مدى كثير حلو يلا تعوا يلا تعوا تعوا لعنا كثير مبسوطين نحن تعوا طيب جريت كارلو ثانك يو فور ذا ادفايس يو جايز مي هاف نوتس ذات كارلو از ا بالد مان هي دازنت هاف ا لوت هير اون هيز هيد بليس هيم وي لاف اور بالد كينجز بت هي انجويز ويرينج ويجز ويتش وي اولسو لاف سو ليتس واتش هير هيز جات ا سبيشال كايند اوف ويج اون هاي كيف كون امبارح هيدا المزار كله رشح حسيت هون كله كان زيت كله كل المزار كان زيت كان في عجقه غريبه اخذنا الزيت الكراسين او خبيناه هون عطيناه هون شوي كمان للفقراء آه واللي عندهم مشاكل صحيه 
يعني I'm sure you meant well بس I'm pretty sure all fada want some cash they want some cash or some drugs not some زيت بس يلا بكون لبكت لبكتهم فيها بس يلا امبارح هيك هيدي العطره هون كمان ليكو كلها رشح الزيت كثير حلو المنظر يعني السلام على اسمها Or take a breath. Why are you out of breath, Carlo? Menum said that Al-Ajib, he's like, he can't breathe. Carlo, relax. So here, he's wearing another kind of wig. He also sings. He does, like, he performs. I think he performs a lot of Dalida music. I love this man. Hi. Me love Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day. And I also love Valentine's Day. But the Halloween Day is a lot better. Like, I, I don't like Valentine's Day. I do prefer Halloween. Ana Makia Carlo. Hone Shu. Oh, I think Hone is performing. I might have to mute some of this, but I know. Let's just t get an idea. This is his favorite wig, I think. Anyways, we can't listen to more of this because we'll get copyright claimed. But this is Carlo, folks. Expect to see more of Carlo. I want to work him into the show a little bit more often. And he seems like an interesting fellow. We love him. Great palate cleanser after uh, the obnoxiousness and the fakeness of Explorer Nico. Honey, we get we get ourselves a genuine character. Having said all that, folks, it is time I bid you adieu. Uh, thank you for joining us on this special episode of Do Not Worry. I'm sorry the interns weren't here. I hope you guys had fun with me by myself. Uh, let me just take a second to thank some of our beautiful, beautiful patrons whom I love very much, especially our uh, God-tier patrons, Jessica Ann, Melting Around, and Muhammad Zain. We love you. Jad Al-Hajj, welcome to Patreon. Omar Musalli, uh, Shams Khalid, thank you guys so much for joining our Patreon. We love you very, very much. Remember to leave a comment, uh, like the video, uh, we really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel. Become a Do Not Warrior. And uh, we shall see you very soon. Do not worry. Do not worry.